Unusual stretch of nice weather for this far into November. Right now we're starting off comfortable, live look in Geist, so we do start to brighten things up a little bit. Couple of clouds moving through, but they're not going to bring us any problems. Same kind of view from downtown right now as that sun does rise, officially rising in just about a half an hour. 57 degrees right now and humidity is high, but the dew points are in the 50s, so it is very comfortable to start off your day. Comfortably cool if you will. Temperatures mainly in the 50s. 54 right now in Plainfield, 62 in Spencer, and 51 degrees right now in Columbus, so it feels a lot like it did this time yesterday morning. A little bit of a breeze, that's still out of the southeast, about 5 miles an hour. Not going to have too much wind today, but it will pick up a lot tomorrow. As for Live Guardian radar, nice and quiet. We're starting to see a couple of those clouds popping up on satellite, but the much more active weather is still well off to our northwest. This system bringing some 3 to 5 inches in a couple of spots in the upper plains moving through with a wintry mix right now into the Dakotas, parts of Nebraska, and still looking at just rain for Minnesota where they are out ahead of that front. We also saw some reports coming in of some 50 mile an hour wind gusts with that. This is a cold front off to the west. It is heading our direction and it will drop our temperatures back to where they should be this time of the year. We shouldn't be enjoying 70s so much in November and it is coming to an end pretty soon. Future view rainfall totals show that that front will also give us some rain, but it won't amount to very much. Really, most of us are looking at under a tenth of an inch, so nothing too substantial, but the most rain we've gotten since October. And right now we're just watching on future view as we do see those clouds starting to push in. But overall, we will call it mostly sunny for today into the afternoon. Still looking beautiful, nice and warm with all that sunshine. And then overnight, not cooling off all too much, even under that mostly clear sky. Then this time tomorrow morning, we will really see those clouds pushing in. I think it'll give us a colorful sunrise, but that red sky in the morning of course, means that we're going to get some rain. Isolated chance for a spotty shower during the day, but many of us won't see rain until Tuesday night. That's when this main line of storms is going to roll through and then pushes out by the time we make it to about Wednesday morning. So short lived there, low impact because most of the rain will happen overnight. Today, though, nice and dry. We should break the record that was set back in 1999, 76 degrees on this date. Today, we should have no problem hitting 77. And then tonight, low down to about 60 degrees. The breeze going to start to pick up, but noticeable with that wind tomorrow. Some gusts up to about 35 miles an hour. It's not going to do any damage, but if you have been out enjoying your patio furniture this November with all this beautiful weather, make sure your umbrella is down. Take in any of those cushions because we will be dealing with that wind. And then the rain. There we are going to be looking at that for Tuesday. Tuesday night out of here by Wednesday morning, though high pressure settles back in for a very fall like forecast Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Next chance for rain then going to be on Saturday. The traffic authority powered by Tom Wood Automotive and at 650 here we are checking back in on the 